Hello, dear friends, subscribers, and students of our channel, SailCorrectly.org. Today, we are going to have a very special class. We are going to learn nouns. What is a noun? A noun is a word that tells me people, animals, or things. What we're going to do today, we are going to analyze a writing, a speech, the speech is called, I have a dream, is part of a speech that Mr. Martin Luther King gave in the year of 1964, when segregation was moving strong in the United States. He died in 1968, and these are the words that he used to communicate his idea when I was going to high school, we used to have something that was called grammatical analysis. To do the grammatical analysis in any sentence, you need all the parts of speech. You need a column from no for nouns, for adjectives, verbs, adverbs, pronouns, articles, prepositions, conjunctions and interjections, which are idiomatic expressions. So let me repeat what we're going to do. We have a speech by Martin Luther King. He used 290 some words and here the majority of them are nouns. So I'm going to give you, I'm going to read them for you. Girls, boys, everybody knows those, those two nouns. Brotherhood is the association of brothers and sisters. Catholics, we know that that is a religion. Character is the content of your characteristics, is your character. Children, the plural of child. City, everybody knows New York City. Color, tint, a tone of color. Content is the contents of a book, for example. What is contained, it's inside a container. Day, we know, days, months, years. Four, number four. Freedom comes from the word free. That means that drums about freely. Freedom is a noun. God's children. We are all God's children. Gentiles. They were non-Jewish non people were called Gentiles or pagans. Hence, what I use a lot, what you use a lot too. Hamlet. It's a small village. It's a small town. Okay? So we're going to put it here. A small village. That, that happens. So I'm going to pronounce them once again for you. Girls, boys, brotherhood, Catholics, character, children, city, color, content, day, four, freedom, God's children, Gentiles, hands, hamlet, village. In the second column, we have the following nouns. Jews, men, nation, negro, one, another number, protestants, another religious group skin the skin of your body slaves a disgrace in the human race slave owners a greater disgrace in the human race sons state table words now we're going to move into adjectives but remember Adjectives are placed before the nouns. For example, black, 
girls and black boys. Is that clear? So let's continue with the adjectives. All. White, the opposite of black. Every, each and every one, like everybody, everyone. Former means previous. Free, an adjective, means free as the wind or the birds. From here we have the word freedom. Little, my. Possessive adjective, my house. Their possessive adjective, their house. Old, the opposite of new. I'm going to give you the pronunciation again for these nouns. Juice, be careful with this word because if you say juice is what comes out of oranges or apple, apple juice. This is Jews vibration. Men, the plural of man already said that. Nation, Negro, one, Protestant, skin, slaves, slave owner, sons, state, table, words. I'm going to pronounce all these adjectives for you once again. All, white, every, former, free, little, my, their, old. I want to remind you of something that in order to make sentences, you mainly need two items or two words. You need nouns and you need verbs. The nouns could be the subject and these are the actions that the subjects do. The first one, as always, to be, have, you know, to have, Join, to join two things together. Let, I remember we had an analysis of how to, pro, how to form commands, imperatives, and we use let. Ring, to ring, the telephone rings. To sing, you sing whenever you take a shower, maybe. Judge, see, the judge is the one who sentenced you to serve a sentence. To sit down, we had a video with Susie Sitz, it was a, a tongue twister. Speed up to accelerate. Walk, you walk, like walkie-talkie, will be able in the future, you will be able to do something. You will be able to speak English if you persevere. Will not be. Negation. Will live. I'm going to repeat the pronunciation for you. Are, have, join, let, ring, sing, judge or judge d in this case. Sit down, speed up, walk, will be able, will not be, will live. I want to make an observation here. The same way as nouns have adjectives that describe the noun, verbs have adverbs, that means it tells you how the action is done. For example, fast, slow. In this case, in this speech, we only have one adverb. 
together. Of course, together can be some other, could be classified as a conjunction too, I think. Now, next one, pronouns. You know that pronouns are those words that replace the nouns. And we have personal pronouns here. The first one, it's I, first person, the person who speaks. It, third person, singular. We, when I have people behind me, I speak in behalf of them, I say we. They, these are the personal pronouns and we already cover personal pronouns, so I'm not going to repeat them. Articles. There are two, only two articles in the English language. We have the, which is the definite, like the white car or the blue one, means five words in Spanish. El, la, los, las, lo. And a, indefinite article, means a car, could be Ford, Chevrolet, Renault. And when the word begins with a vowel, you have to use and. We already covered these two. Let's continue with prepositions. Prepositions indicate, as the word says, position or relation between the parts of speech. At, like at the door, at one o'clock. In, like inside, in the room, in the classroom. Of shows relation, ownership. By also a relation. With a company by. From and these are the prepositions that appeared in this speech by Martin Luther King. Conjunctions, words that connect. For example, you and me. And is a conjunction. But connects two sentences, perhaps. When, it could also be something else. It could also be a pronoun, interrogative pronoun. But we're going to have it listed here as a conjunction. Where, the same as the previous. And the last one, interjection. At last, finally. So, this is an analysis, as I said, it's a grammatical analysis. This is what you have to do in the future. This, we are not preparing you to go teach in Harvard University. We are preparing you to make sentences and to communicate in English. This is our obje objective. You see how sometimes I get, I stumble into words. So communicate freely and purposely is hard. So there you have it, Martin Luther King, I have a dream. He died in 1968, and these are his words, part of a speech, a very important speech. I said 1964, but according to this, it was given in Washington, D.C. in 1963. So there you have it, Mr. King, his famous speech. We're going to find out if we can use his voice, and we added as we read it and we might have it with a black background as the words appear so you can repeat them i have a dream i have a dream that one day the sons of former slaves and the sons of former slave owners will be able to sit down together at the table of brotherhood i have a dream that my four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. I have a dream today. I have a dream that one day little black boys and black girls will be able to join hands with little white boys and white girls and walk together as sisters and brothers. I have a dream today. Let freedom ring, let it ring from every village, 
in every hamlet, from every state, in every city. We will be able to speed up that day when all of God's children, black men and white men, Jews and Gentiles, Protestants and Catholics, will be able to join hands and sing in the words of that old Negro spiritual, free at last, free at last. Thank God Almighty, we are free at last. August 28, 1963, Washington, D.C. Okay, this is it for today. This is the beginning of a new series, Nouns. We want to show you nouns with illustrations. We want to show you verbs with movement so you can fix it in your mind. No translation or basically almost no translation. Have a nice day. Goodbye.